Hey, what's up? This is Laidback Luke, DJ and producer, and today I'm gonna take you out to two shows in Europe. Doing Paris and Austria in one day today. Yesterday I flew in from New York. And what usually happens on a busy day like this is you take the private jet. But private jets are super expensive. And so today I'm going by train out to Paris, which is really convenient. It's only a couple of hours, uh, three hours travel. And because I'm still on New York time, I will probably have a snooze. It's like 2 a.m. for me in my time. So looking forward to touching down, touching down parking the train out in Paris soon. What I like about traveling by train is that there's no uh, security, just like the airplane, right? Where you go, you check in and you stand in line with your luggage and that sort of thing. There is no takeoff, and there's no landing, the train just goes. So it's actually really fast and really convenient. For the last two hours, for the last two hours, I've been trying to sleep without messing up my hair. Did I succeed? I think I did, right? Oh. We're here, we're in Paris, we're outside of the Gare du Nord, big train station of Paris, and uh, the traffic is already clogging up, getting super busy. I don't know if this is normal or if it's uh, because of the parade. This street is about empty, so I'm assuming in about 15 minutes the parade is gonna start, and I'm assuming uh, we're gonna hear a lot of ins, ins, ins throughout uh, the street. And I'm here with Calvin and Max from the office. Since the traffic is crazy out in Paris, we're gonna do what Dutch people do, and we're gonna bike. This is my bike. These are electric bikes. I did that when I was in London a few weeks ago, and it's so much fun. We have a couple of hours before we need to be at the pickup spot. We are gonna bike there right now because the city is fully congested. Well, we just parked our bags. This was another great adventure throughout the city. I know I started this vlog with saying private jet, and I know this isn't the most glamorous way, uh, I guess, for a DJ to travel through the city, but such fun. So, uh, is this a, a tourist kind of thing? Anyway, we're here near the pickup location. Uh, everyone's setting up. We can hear the, the music in the background, so we're following the music right now. And uh, let's go and check it out. All right, it's gonna be tricky to hear me, but we're here at our car, the Crazy Tiger car. All of the trucks are aligned here, and I guess uh, they're kind of warming up. The music is really loud. But yeah, I can't wait to, to get on there and, and to perform in a couple of hours. Sitting down in the semi-quiet for a moment before the madness starts. And if you know me, then wherever I go, wherever I am, I love to eat the traditional food. So in the UK, I always eat fish and chips. You've seen me post it. So over here, I'm about to have a real Parisian croissant. But sadly enough, I do have to confess where we're at right now. And we're at Starbucks, having a Starbucks croissant in Paris. Sort of the same thing. Oh. It is good though, but it tastes like the American uh, croissant. So about to wrap up breakfast and then it's time for the techno parade going onto the truck into the streets. It, pass it, yeah we serve it, you got orders, I deliver. Hold it, serve it, mix it like a pause. Roll it, pass it, yeah we serve it, you got orders, I deliver. Hold it, serve it, mix it like a pause. Oh my love is good. Oh, 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 oh.
immediately I'm gonna go somewhere else so oh, almost run over by a bike um, Austria Austria is next I really enjoyed this such a big crowd and you could see that the main thing around here was 140 BPM 150 BPM type of main stage techno that's going on right now gave him a little bit of that it was absolutely fun right now straight to the airport out to Austria Landed in Vienna. I had about a one and a half hour of sleep. It was a one and three quarters hour of flight. Obviously, I was flying in my not so private jet, but finally, finally, something fancy. How about that? This is the car that'll drive me two hours out to the hotel in Linz right now. The inside is even more stunning. It actually feels like I'm in business class right now. How about that? So, two hours is perfect in here. I'm just gonna chill. Hold up, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. I am in my hotel room right now, but I am talking to you after my show. I was on the drive and I looked at the clock and it said I would arrive at my hotel at 12.59. I was supposed to be on at 1.30. The hotel is 15 minutes from the club and I was like, I'm not gonna make that. So in a split decision, I decided to go from the airport straight out to the club. So can you imagine being the French love parade, the techno parade, a long, long day, landing in Vienna, doing a two hour drive, going straight into the club and performing. So maybe a bit hardcore, but it's absolutely necessary for me to be able to get to the club on time and to perform on time as allocated. So let's look at that right now. This is the anniversary night of Remember Club in Linz. Let's go in. So that's a wrap of a long, long day. It is 3.30 a.m. in in the morning right now. Now I literally just checked into the hotel. I will be going to my room right now, which I will only be in for like one hour and then I'll catch four flights out to New York. What a life, the DJ life, it gets crazy like this, but I am not complaining. It was an amazing day. Shout out to everyone that came to see me play. Shout out to the promoters that had me. And shout out to you for watching and I hope for you to tune back into the next one. Make sure to subscribe right now. Give me a like as well. Hit that notification bell and I will catch you back here for the next one. Until then, L's up.